Hello, my name is Sean Kaufman, and I'm the CEO and founding partner of Safer Behaviors. And over 10 years ago, I designed a method to remove your gloves efficiently and effectively without contaminating your hands called the Beaking Method. I want to share with you in this video the Beaking Method, and yes, I am just a torso in this video. But I want to do this for two populations particularly. Number one, the nursing and the doctor, meaning the healthcare industry, those who are serving patients with bloodborne pathogens or even emerging infectious diseases, and yes, those who work in laboratories. Ladies and gentlemen, it is absolutely unethical to give individuals personal protective equipment, expect them to put themselves at risk, and then fail to teach them how to remove that personal protective equipment properly. Meaning, if you're not removing your gloves properly, if you're not removing your gloves with a method that works, that is demonstrated that it does not contaminate your hands, then you could be putting yourself at risk. I'm going to show you very quickly the beaking method, then it will be followed by the 10 steps of the beaking method, and then I'll close this out uh, with a quick summary. All right, here we go. This is the beaking method today. You form an L. When you form an L, it is an L with the left hand. That is an L. Otherwise, it's the right hand is a J. This is an L. You're going to bring your L over and you're going to grab. You're going to literally come over and you're going to grab the cusp of the glove. See, just like so. You're not touching the skin. You're not pretending to play with the skin. Look, healthcare providers and laboratorians remove hundreds of gloves a day. They're not going to pay attention to this every day when it becomes a habit. So you come an L, come over in the middle of the glove. You're going to pinch and scoop under with the middle finger. Now, once you do that, you don't want to comb your hand like this because you could contaminate your glove and you can contaminate with a dirty glove. You're going to keep your hand pancake like this. You're not touching your skin. You're keeping your hand like this. You're going to come up and you're going to form a beak and then you're going to cover that beak just like so. Now that's a clean inside of the glove. That's clean. There is no sense in touching a contaminated part of the glove. This is clean. So go to the very top. Give yourself five. Go to the very top. And this is where people will mess up. A lot of people are copying this beaking method and they're not getting it right here. If you grab this and turn your hand like this, you could touch your skin. I don't want that. So grab the top here like this. Keep your index fingers in front and inside out. Bring the glove down. Flip over. Give yourself five. Single finger down the middle and push it down. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the beaking method. And it is the method that we used in the first two cases of Ebola in the United States where we treated patients at Emory University. It's a method I've taught for over 10 years. Many people are doing it around the world. It is called the beaking method. And now what I'll do is I'll show you in a step-by-step -step process. There are 10 steps to the beaking method. And to be honest with you, the 10th step is the most important. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you should always wash your hands with soap and water. That's ten. Ten steps to the beaking method. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's the Beaky Method. And again, please, please know that based on what I see, if you ever want to challenge yourselves, get glow germ or chocolate sauce. <clears throat> Cover those gloves with glow germ or chocolate sauce. Have individuals close their eyes because they're not looking at, when, at their hands when they remove their gloves. Have them close their eyes, have them take the gloves off, and then look at the potential contamination of their hands. I'm telling you, we have cuts, rips, and tears in the cuticles of the fingers. We learned this in the 80s with HIV and hepatitis B. Ladies and gentlemen, with the newly emerging infectious diseases that are out there, with the fact that we have healthcare providers on the front line and laboratory staff working for cures and, and research to the, uh, to the most dangerous infectious diseases today, it is absolutely imperative that we focus on how we remove our gloves, not only for the protection of those who work with these agents, but for the protection of those that they love and the protection of those they live with, and quite honestly, for the protection of the world.